the take for this middleweight final. 27-year-old Ferreira against 29-year-old Sergio Moraes. On the tail of the tape, everything is very even. Striking advantage Ferreira, grappling advantage Moraes. Only one man will leave as the ultimate fighter, Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb King. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Then have a clean fight. Touch it up, make it official. Daniel Serafian was to fight in the finals. Unfortunately, he was injured. And man, what a great reception he gets from the fans here in Brazil. Oh, look at the big scar from the surgery. Torn biceps. Is yeah, that and bicep tendon. Very common injury. I know that one all too well. All right, here we go. Set for the finals here at 185, the Southpaw. Ferreira in the red trunks, black trunks for the Jiu-Jitsu World Champion, Sergio Moraes. And look for Ver Ferreira's high kick. That is the one that he used to stop Perpetuo in the first round of their fight. He's a very big, strong, rangy 185 pounder. And keep in mind, Sergio Moraes was knocked out by Daniel Serafian. He got poked in the eye, it looks like. Herb Dean steps in. Nothing happened. Oh, you need to fight. The hometown kid fighting out of right here in Bella Orajanche. As our Portuguese friends oh. say, and he lands it. He went for the Capoeira kick. Nicely done by Ferreira. And Moraes clearly wants no part of these wild exchanges. He just wants to capitalize on a possible opening. If Ferreira leaves it, he will try to grab a hold of him and drag him to the ground. Ferreira is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but not at the level of his opponent, the Panther. Good, solid left hands by Ferreira. But all Ferreira has to do is defend. I mean, he's not, he's not going to try to submit, no, most likely not going to try to submit Marais, unless he listened to that comment about getting him pregnant and gets crazy. I have a feeling he'd like to keep it at his strength and his yeah. advantage, which is right here, Joe. Absolutely. And Sergio's just swinging wildly in these exchanges. Whereas Ferreira is much more disciplined with his striking. Ferreira's hero, his head coach, Vitor Belfort. Oh, nice good shot. kick to the body you by Sergio. That, that was a solid strike. He swings wildly as he pushes in. Ferreira's very athletic, Mike, and he's really doing a good job of moving away from Marais every time he tries to come close. Joey changes levels and connects with the punch. Looking for that front kick. Just about to the midway point of round number one. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Another connection. And try to set up for that left hand. Look for the straight left of Ferreira. There it is. Yeah, Sergio can't get a hold of him. Footwork a huge key for Ferreira here. Our Portuguese friends have told us both Cesar and Cesar. Ferreira in the red trunks. Moraes, Sergio Ricardo de Moraes. And again with that straight left. And again. Sergio landed a good right hand there. You can see how technically sound the striking of the top pick of Vitor Belfort is. Ferreira much more technically sound, but he's got to be careful that he doesn't get overconfident in these exchanges and let a wild punch by Marais land. Because Marais, you know, kiss like right there. Yep. Marais still can tag him. He has good power. And he's throwing with reckless abandon. Yeah, especially with his kicks. He had the good kick to the midsection. You can see the mark on the rib cage yeah. of Ferreira. Yeah, that was a very solid strike. 
Caught him a, a bit with the foot. You heard the oh, slam, no. but he went low. unfortunate kick. Man, another one. Southpaw against Orthodox fighter happens all too often. Let's take a look at that one. Why? Because we can. Because we can. Right in there, baby. Murray's almost caught Ferreira, too. That wasn't even an inside leg kick. That was a, uh, he was trying to do a front kick. Good time. Good time. But uh, they, they clashed. Oh, Anderson Silva, look what you've started. <laughs> Right. Ironically, that fight? highlight reel knockout front kick was against Vitor Watch Belfort in the title fight a few years back. Right. It's amazing how one technique can really change an aspect of the game. Yeah, and then Lioto did it against the Hall of Famer Randy Couture. The Brazilian Lioto Machida, the former champion. Since then, I've seen quite a few of those land. Justin Buckholz got a nice KO with one. Yep. I believe it was in Ring of Fire. Final minute of a fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Ferreira's really good at covering the distance, Mike. See how quickly he moves in on Marais? Excellent footwork. But he's being conservative. There's that big, powerful high kick. And the oh, go crazy big by shots the by Panther. Marais landed some very good shots in there, and that's what I was saying. Ferreira can't get too cocky. And the crowd reacts to that exchange. Look, Marais is trying to win, man. He's swinging wildly. Ferrer was trying to hold on to a clinch and maybe throw a knee, Joe. And he ate five, six, seven, eight punches. And there's that front kick to the body again. There's that high kick. Powerful left high kick by Ferreira. And I like how he faked it early and then came up over the top. Round one in the books. You know, that was a round that went the way Ferreira wanted to in that it stayed standing but Sergio Moraes had some success. Now here you see in this exchange Sergio landed a couple of good shots while Ferreira was trying to control him and he also landed a good shot to the body but overall I would say that Ferreira controlled it. And he certainly kept the fight where he wanted it which is standing. Vitor talking to him. You gotta work your front hand, work your lead hand relax and work your lead hand. Just relax. I want you to relax more and keep using that lead hand. When he comes, you got to meet him with the hand. But more relaxed. There's Vitor. More aggressive now. Let's go. Fighting at home. Top pick of Team Vitor. Back, back, back. It was his dream to compete in MMA since he was a young child. Marais, the Jiu-Jitsu world champion, Ferreira said he feels like he matured 10 years during his time in the house on the Ultimate Fight of Brazil. Marais has got to figure out some way to instigate the clinch. There's that straight, straight left again. Marais trying to get a hold of him, but it's going to be even more difficult now. They're both slippery. He went yeah. down, tried to pull guard. This is going to not be good for Marais with a slippery, as you mentioned, Ferreira. Looking Ferreira. for the head kick again. Oh! oh! But Marais got tagged in the exchange. Marais connected, but he got tagged or he slipped. I don't know slipped. what happened there. I think he slipped. Man, he swings wild. He's still trying to shake out some cobwebs, though. That straight oh, low. He gets back him again. Upper Marais is in big, 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 big trouble. Fans. Big trouble. Looking to become the ultimate fighter winner. Ferrer's all over him here. Looking for the finish. Got to be careful. He's making him stand up. Massive welt under the left eye, or right Connected eye, rather. With the wheel kick. Bloodied up, but not beaten. Big swing by Marais. He is no longer fighting at full force. Watch for the straight left again.
Head kick. He wants a highlight reel knockout here. He wants his part of UFC history to be as memorable as any. But as long as Marais is up, he's got a chance in this fight. We've been around this too long to know that anything different exists. Marais tries to get a hold of the leg and slips it right out. Ferreira, excellent balance. That is much a key to this fight as anything, the inability to get it to the ground. Marais' game trying to take advantage of his second chance. Knocked out by Daniel Serafian, but Serafian, you saw, was injured. You saw the cast on his arm. In preparation for this ultimate fighter final, flying knee. Ferreira is getting loose with his striking now, Mike, because he's much more confident about his ability to stuff the takedowns. Marais trying to get the crowd active again. That front kick. He shouldn't be thinking about the crowd right now. Especially against the kid who's from here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's trying to motivate himself, but... What are they chanting? Something in Portuguese. They're, they're chanting Sergio. So he's getting a little love. Well, he asked for it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I wonder if that would work for Rich Franklin later. I doubt it. I don't it. think so. Yep. Just over 90 seconds remain here in round two. Oh, oh he, he was went trying to spin to, yeah, there. He was trying to set it up. Connected on the wheel kick before. Aggressive in his attack still, though, is Marais. Good kick to the body there by Ferreira. Marais is still in this, though. So we mentioned. Oh, oh, he caught him. He caught Ferreira. Ferreira's on. And he he's on. He's right hand. hand. Big right hands by Sergio Marais. He's out of it. And again, he puts the lead on the The Panther. Ferreira trying to survive. Ferreira's got to take him to the ground. Wow, Some, what a battle. Somebody called for Scream at Sergio to take him down. Forrest Griffin, Stefan Bonner all over again. What did we say earlier, Joe? As long as Anything he's standing, he's happen. got a chance. He caught him with a nasty elbow, Mike. That's what did it. Now they're chanting Sergio. What an incredible fight. Wow. For the middleweight final of the Ultimate Fight Man. of Brazil, they are on their feet. If Marais just tried to take him down while he had him hurt, but he was he was just knockout happy. Now early in the round, here's the kick by Ferreira. That's Capoeira. Look at that. You see how he did it with the arms bent down? Very, very similar to like a Taekwondo wheel kick. Here's the elbow that had Ferreira in all sorts of trouble. And Marais catches him with a right hand afterward as well. Swarmed on him, tried to finish him. Listen to me, you gotta land your hands on him. You can knock him out. Keep jabbing him and call him in. Listen to me. Work the jabs. Work the jabs and get him into you. Put your hands up. Box him and take him down. Third round. Will it be our final round? Oh, that's beautiful. Marais Ferreira. As we mentioned during the featherweight final, if by chance it's a draw after three rounds, we will go to a sudden victory in a fourth round to determine the middleweight winner. 
Joe Silva said Ferreira looks like Minotauro and Frank Shamrock had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> How dead on is that? Combination! Oh! Uppercut! Sergio pushed him off. Yeah. Oh, look at him saying, come to me. Cesar is not jumping down there. He had Moraes hurt. Moraes had him hurt. If we get a Rock'em Sock'em round three, it will be like the first ever Ultimate Fighter final between Forrest Griffin and Stefan Bonner. Well, you just got to love Moraes just for, for even tagging him when you consider how much better Ferrara is on his feet. It's, it's, it's obvious. Five Ferreira... Thousand, sorry. sorry, Joe. 5,000 applications for the Ultimate Fighter Brazil, and it comes down to this at 185. That's insane. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Take a look at our stats, and it's oh, ultra close. In significant strikes landed. That's crazy. I mean, these stats are dead on. I've got the stats board right in front of me, Joe, and well, it is as even as it can be. Well, what do you think about that last round? I mean, that's, that's where it gets really crazy. Right? <clears throat> I mean, Sergio clearly had him just as badly hurt. Well, the one thing to Oh, he caught him with the right hand! We've talked about it before, Joe. Sometimes what happens late in the round leaves yes. much more of an impression yeah. in the judges' minds. I mean, Ferreira definitely had him staggered, had him cut, but then Sergio comes back with that big elbow and the subsequent punches. And this is a fight. And Ferreira's thinking about that now. No He's, question. He does not have the same confident look in his eyes that he had entering into the second. He's determined, but he knows that he can get tagged. Three-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion who has stood the whole time. And part of that is because Ferreira has demonstrated his good takedown offense. The surge is so wild when he comes in. I've seen a few wild fighters come out of Curitiba before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but this is a different kind of wild, right? I mean, this is hands down, just bad leg positioning, you know, everything. Chin up. Just what they tell you, chin up, hands yeah. down, right? <laughs> That's what they tell you if they hate you. <laughs> Under two minutes but, on the clock here, third round. But he is game, man. Yeah, and you can see, as you mentioned earlier, Ferreira not pulling the trigger nearly as much. Oh, yeah. Well, he's conservative right now. He's got to worry because Sergio is all about countering, you know? So Ferreira has to be concerned with those openings that he leaves as he attacks. And Sergio... Not much time to even do anything on the ground if he can get it there. This is a very... Oh! He tagged him! In. He came in the first time this round. He's really that. aggressively. And he got caught. And Moraes is toying with him now. This is unbelievable. Let's see if he pushes forward again. 50 seconds on the clock. Well, Moraes is winning this fight now. He's winning this round. I mean, you, who knows who, if he won the last round? Very close. Could have won that round. Definitely winning this round so far. Tagged him with the biggest shot. And now he's got him backing up. This is incredible. He's winning a striking exchange. Purely on heart and will. Oh, he got nailed. Okay, now take that. That straight left of Ferreira. What is he doing? 15 seconds left. He might be wise to jump and try to beat him up a little bit here. Be hard to finish a submission with well, 10 you know, seconds. Well, now you got to think he's winning the fight because he knocked him down. Straight Sergio's left Sergio's got to do something to try to get this round back. Wow. Who knows? I hope they don't throw their mouthpieces away because we might have a fourth round. Yeah, very, very might. Very well might. Ferreira believes he is the ultimate fighter. 
Marais up on the cage as well. That straight left late, Joe, as you said. That might have that yeah. might have cemented it. Who knows? Now let's take a look. Here's a Ferreira kick. And there's that wheel kick that clipped him. Really had him hurt. That was in the second. And there's the elbow. Boom. That elbow might have been the biggest shot of the fight. And then the straight left missed, and boom, he got countered. And then in the third, the straight left that connected. Dana White is in the octagon. Bruce Buffer checking the judges' scorecards. Marais and Ferreira, the master of Capoeira. Go the distance in this first ever 185 final of the Ultimate Fighter Brazil. Looks like we have a decision and a winner. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 29 28, 30 27, and 30 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the Ultimate Fighter Brazil middleweight winner, Cesar Mutante Pereira! He is the Ultimate Fighter! The top pick of Vanderlei wins at 145. The top pick of Vitor wins at 185. Congratulations, you are the Ultimate Fighter middleweight winner. You get the trophy and the six-figure contract with the UFC. Ferreira, your winner. The Vitor Belfort protege. All right, I'm here with the winner, Cesar. Congratulations. You are the very first ultimate fighter from Brazil in the 185 pound division. How does that make you feel? Estou aqui com o vencedor, Cesar. Você é o primeiro campeão do Ultimate Fighter Brasil no peso médio. Eu tô me sentindo muito bem, muito feliz. Treinei muito para isso. É, eu quero agradecer a todos por ter vindo. E esse show é para vocês. Eu lutei para vocês, tá? Meu sonho é representar Belo Horizonte e o Brasil no UFC. E isso eu consegui hoje. Pode ter certeza que eu vou fazer isso bem, com toda a minha força. I'm very honored, I'm very pleased to be here. This is what I've been fighting for and training for. And I want to represent Belo Horizonte Brazil in the UFC. And that's what I did here tonight. Congratulations on a great victory and a great season. You are the ultimate fighter in the 185 pound division. Right here, where he now calls home, the Southpaw. Earns the victory tonight by unanimous decision over Sergio Marais. Joe, let's take a look at our fight replay. 